Hey guys, Clumsy here, and welcome back to Microsoft Flight Simulator. Welcome back to our Sky Park series where we are focusing on the sightseeing. And you can see from behind this helicopter. My goodness, I think we are up for something today. Sky Park just released a new Alp Ventures set of missions and uh, it will take us all around the French Alps which is perfect because with World Update 4 the different mountains, the different areas in the French Alps have been retouched so they have more accurate, sharper uh, edges and so you won't see much of those rounded mess as with some other mountainous areas before anyway so we have the airbus h135 that is that has been updated actually 0 0.85 now i've started it up the sounds are a bit different so if you're uh, playing this for yourself you might need to lower the audio but all good we now have a warning here at the top instead of just having it on the pfd so in our case it's the rotor that's fine we should be able to get rid of that once we set things up here let's turn on our lights first so we do have a job that's waiting for us but before we go with that one second i think we need to load the cargo so let me open the doors here on the cargo at the back is that open there you go and then let's load up the fibrous cellulosic pulp <laughs> don't ask me what that is there we go. Also, with Skywork, you might have noticed you can actually stow the tablet now. Very useful. If you double click on the sides here on the bezel, it actually hides on your monitor onto the side there. When you click it, it snaps back in. Amazing user interface design. This app, this the, the designers of this app really are amazing guys. Okay, so we're making our way towards uh, Reventin. Lima Foxtrot Hotel Hotel and you can see we are right in the middle of the French Alps here that's already Italy I believe to the right yes and then Courchevel is actually somewhere here just around the border so we'll see if we can tour around a bit and spot it weather permitting because the cloud cover seems to be getting lower and lower so that I'm a bit nervous about that but we'll see Let's go to flight mode here that rotor warning should disappear there we go perfect so now we just need the pitot heat on taxi lights not that there's much taxiing going to happen because the runway is actually where is the runway there there's the runway uh, in all intents and purposes and yes the winds seem to agree so let's go and race that collective bit by bit get airborne the overlay should also be visible again so you guys have an idea which flight controls I am using. <clears throat> Not that I'm a good example but you might learn a thing or two from each other right? So if you spot anything that I'm doing wrong like right now, ah that's good, we're good. We're just lining up with the runway here. Let's turn on our landing lights, alright and we're off. But yeah this is a perfect mission. For the helicopter it's a very short runway i think this is only a thousand foot long but yeah runways short runways are not really a problem when it comes to helicopters are they look at that view guys look at that view i've been flying here yesterday and i was like whoa i have to show the guys this view this, this is just beautiful and yes because of the recent uh, snow update when it's actually snowing in the area based on live weather we actually see that here amazing stuff right so we should be able to see Courchevel I think is right around the corner so we'll, we'll try and uh, visit it but I actually haven't been there yet so we'll try maybe I can uh, let me have a look I have little nav map here on the other side we do have to loop around some mountains i think and uh, i think we'd have to climb a bit but if we can go past this mountain right here i think we should be good but yeah you can see the difference right some some of the mountain areas are snowing some are not and that should be reflective of real life actually 
turn on our lights should be good there continue our climb and yes this seems like a good place to step into we have a valley right here which looks very friendly so we wouldn't have to crest all these mountains and yeah it looks like these are spot on because uh, we have a uh, community member and in the discord we've been discussing I've been sharing some of the photos I've been taking as I was flying here in this area and uh, his name is Buster and he actually did some snow skiing or is that the term uh, <laughs> I live in a tropical country so all of that is alien to me but yeah he, he spent some time in the French Alps so he had some real life pictures and he has the sim so what he did was he loaded up the sim and uh, looked for his real life pictures and then looked for the exact spot and if you go to the discord he has those comparisons i think he has two of them and it's like oh my goodness the mountains are spot on each and every curve like if you look i hope you can see my mouse now if you can see if you trace each and every bit of curve like that it looks exactly like the one he has in real life so i think microsoft did an amazing job here with the i'm not sure what they call it they, they have a term for it right the elevation data the actual curves or edges of each mountain yeah i think they have that courchevel should be it i think it is this the one i think this is courchevel we also have bush talk radio so that should play anytime soon as, as we get into the area I think this is the town of Courchevel. Probably. And then the airport should be right there beyond a bit. I hope I'm getting this right. We'll see. But yes, we'll uh, do a bit of sightseeing. Thankfully, the weather is good now because yesterday it was literally snowing in here. IMC. Zero visibility. And uh, experienced some snowing, some icing in the helicopter. Courchevel is a French Alps ski go. resort. It is a part of Les Trois Valleys, the largest linked ski areas in the world. Courchevel also refers to the towns of Courchevel 1300, Courchevel 1550, Courchevel 1650, and Courchevel 1850, which are named for their altitudes in meters. The resort center of Courchevel is at 1747 meters. The name Courchevel 1850 was chosen for marketing reasons to compete with rival ski resort Val d'Isère. This is it four is minutes, the guys. It is Alpin area of Courchevel <laughs> 1850 rather than the center which is located at 1,850 meters. Courchevel used to be part of the commune of saint bon tarentaise but in 2017 that was merged with La Perrière into the new commune of Courchevel. In spite of the name, the commune's administrative offices are not located in Courchevel. Oh, this is the airport. Still in the nearby village. This is Courchevel Airport bon already. Yeah, that's Courchevel the one. is in the Tarentaise Valley. is a bit Savoie snowed out. Auvergne, but that Cuisine. is it. Courchevel is part of the Trois Valleys, which comprises the resorts of Courchevel, La Tanya, Marable, Les Menuires Saint Martin, Val Ferenz, and Arel. Courchevel is the most western resort of the three valleys, the biggest connected ski oh, area in the world. that is beautiful. My it goodness. It consists of four satellite villages, courchevel le Praz, Courchevel 1550, Courchevel 1650, and Courchevel 1850. Its highest resort, Courchevel 1850, is considered exclusive, attracting wealthy clientele including royal families. In the 2011 to 2012 season, Courchevel rebranded, changing the names of each of the four villages in a move away from the association with altitude. I stopped it already because I was not getting any useful information anymore. <laughs> Some of the trivia is a bit questionable, but uh, <laughs> for the most part, it's great. Also, you can notice, I think this is one of the improvements in this update, that the trees, the tree distance can actually see trees from afar now yeah those are all those dots are small trees and that's been one of the complaints before by the community that the trees start disappearing too fast so you can't see trees from afar and that makes things a lot more barren like if you look at those mountains from afar they don't have any trees right yeah i think the trees stop somewhere where uh, uh 
maybe here, this this area where my mouse is. Yeah, and farther they get the textures get a bit blurred and uh, the trees disappear, things like that. Those are all um, balancing measures so that performance will not be impacted too much. But I, I think it's a great balance. I mean, I have no complaints about this visual. I don't know about you guys. Are you asking for more even with this kind of picture? I, I, I have a hard time doing that because my goodness, this just looks great. But yeah, okay, let's, so let's, let's fly around here. Um, I do have to make my way westbound past those mountains. So I think we'll have to climb up again. Thankfully, with the helicopter, climbing is super easy. As long as your, your engine has enough power. And in our case, yes, we do have it. So just pitching up very, very gradually here. We are slowing down, but that's no problem. Slowing down, but climbing up at a much faster rate. I'm good with that. And I think we can squeeze ourselves there in that nook, the lowest part of the nook, or we can even circle around here so that we don't have to climb as high. But then it's a bit more dramatic. I'm not sure if you guys have seen that before. I will try that here. As you crest over a very high area like this and see something a bit lower past the mountain, oh my goodness, it has so much cinematic feels. Let's see if I can share you with that. Oh my goodness, look at this. The mountains right there. I love the different shading. Are those dynamic? I think they are because the sun should be coming from behind. Yeah, it is the morning, so the sun should be from the east. And so it's shining from the east and that's the west having all the shadows. Yeah, makes sense. Looking good right there. All right, let's speed up here. I think we should have enough altitude crest over this part at least yeah thankfully the weather is great now even the winds are super calm and this is live weather so very lucky guys yesterday over here literally you can't see anything and yes icing conditions on the helicopter i encountered it for the first time weirdly enough and i'm not sure if it's weird or if it really is the case maybe you guys have more insights on that so you guys might know I'm not really very familiar with helicopters. Um, Little Nav Map was saying that I had full blown icing. Uh, let me just see here. Okay, I think we're good. Little Nav Map was saying icing is a hundred percent on the structure of the aircraft, but I was still flying fine. I guess I was a bit slower, but it wasn't enough to like cause the plane to crash or anything. I didn't lose any control. So that was pretty nice. And so, and the icing effects I think are not implemented in this uh, helicopter, which is good. I don't like those icing effects you see in, in the default planes. I think they're a bit exaggerated. So I think for me, this is looking pretty great indeed. Oh yeah, look at that. It will be great as we transition from this icy, snowy goodness back into the green, lush plains. And that's exactly where we're going. Because I think the end of the Alps should be nearby, maybe as we crest that mountain in front. I think sh that should be... Uh, yeah, we should be entering the Col de la Madeleine is a high mountain pass area. in the Alps in the department of Savoie in France, Ooh. which connects La Chambre in Maurienne with La Leche in Tarentaise. The pass is closed from November to the beginning of June. It has been described as beautiful but heartbreaking. The southern approach <laughs> that from one's La Chambre the pass, I guess. is 19.05 kilometers long, gaining 1,522 meters at an average gradient of 8%. Alternatively, the route via the D-76 is 19.8 kilometers long, climbing 1,520 meters. At an average of 7.7%, the northern approach can be accessed here. via Fison-sur-Isère. From Fison-sur-Isère, 
the climb is 25.3 kilometers long, gaining 1,585 meters at an average gradient of 6.2 percent. For the 2012 Tour de France, the height of the summit is shown as 2,000 meters, whereas in previous years it has been shown as 1,993 meters. The only thing that I hope would be improved, as you see, as you get closer, yeah, the, the landscape kind of morphs. And uh, if you look too much close there, it's going to be a bit uh, of an immersion breaker. Isn't it? Oh my goodness, but this is high. So yeah, I, I hope they, that gets refined more in the future, but it's not a big deal for me. It's not a deal breaker. It's a nice to have. But yeah, the, I actually, hmm, this particular mountain didn't wasn't as snowed as this yesterday, I think, because I crested over the same one if I remember correctly. Wait, this is what I am saying. So you crest over a mountain and you see something below. Oh, it's not yet as dramatic because they still have some mountains, but yeah, it's like you have know, to see in the movies and then you see the plains or the city just going beyond there. Oh my goodness, that looks beautiful. From from nearby, you can see the textures are becoming a bit blurred. Interesting, huh? Maybe that needs a bit more refinement, but overall, my goodness. I think that has something to do with how the snow, like, hugs the, the actual mountain caps. We got lucky here. As you can see, the clouds right above us. Cloud cover is around, I don't know, probably 10,000 feet. Yeah, thankfully, we don't need to climb that high. Okay, we can con we can start uh, descending here. Don't need to be as high. Beautiful, beautiful. There we go. A transition from snow to lush green areas. Isn't that nice? Uh, that one. Yeah, that's why I couldn't resist. But show you this, guys. And if you want to try this for yourselves, if you have Sky Park, well, even if you don't have Sky Park, you can do it. You can just copy the airports that I chose. You can look for Cochevel. The airport we were in is Lima Fox Trot Kilo X Ray. Uh, those are the IKEA codes. And right now we're going to Lima Fox Trot Hotel Hotel. So if you plug those in and plan the same route, then you should be able to recreate it. But that's what I love about Sky Park, you know, you have the entire world available to you for exploration but then again with so many choices it's so hard to choose and uh, how do you know which one is great that's what sky park does they curate the available offerings of the entire world and uh, they give you these different events so if you are if you have sky park you'll get access to these findings these curated uh, destinations you know you always have something new that you can explore you don't have to fly in blind and i think it's very much worth it sightseeing capabilities are amazing especially now with a helicopter like this oh my goodness look at that view i uh let's take another photo there i've been taking photos left and right because of this one uh oh clouds getting in the way should actually have descended already because this might introduce a bit of icing for us now the icing is a bit tricky on this uh, uh, chopper because you won't really see it you might feel it in terms of less performance but you won't see any icing visually so I think yeah we do have icing little nav map is saying so let me show you I'll switch little nav map to the center of the screen. You see it? If you go, if you have little nav map, you go to progress tab. You see ice structure, thirty percent. Yeah, it goes up to a hundred, and the higher that is, the worse the effect will be. So we have to descend and get to warmer temperatures so that the ice will uh, melt on its own because this uh, chopper doesn't have any anti-ice capabilities on the structure that's fine should be good now i lowered my engine sounds to 20 percent 
it was a bit too loud otherwise but you guys let me know if you want it to be louder okay uh, some people like it loud but I think for commentaries might be too much so we'll keep it this way in the meantime oh my goodness that just looks so good all right but yeah I think it's going to be a pretty calm area here now I think we're past most of the mountains so it's going to be a straight mostly straight trip towards uh, our destination so I'll bring you guys back when we're there okay this is actually two leg uh, part of the journey but I'm not sure if I'll do both legs in this episode we'll see we'll uh, play it by ear but uh, I'll, I'll bring you guys back when we're closer to the airport catch you in a bit quick update my goodness the clouds are really chasing after us oh, I think we'll have to continue descending here you're not turning off autopilot I'm down to 5,500 feet and I think I'll have to descend much more I think we escaped that place just in time guys the weather was turning earlier we could climb up to 8,500 but now 5,500 and still we're almost touching the ceiling here I love how that looks though the weather system especially the visual effects in this sim really just amazing huh oh look at this this is the one yes yeah, so you cross the mountain and see what's beyond this is something that you could have in your so cinematic videos right oh my goodness french alps wow as an ignorant guy as an outsider Oh, didn't know anything about France. All I thought about was France, Paris, France, Paris, France, Paris. But I never thought you could have something like this as well. Well, you do have something like this. And France is amazing, huh? Such a large country with such varied landscapes. I'm excited to explore more of it. And I hope Sky Park takes us the rest of the way through. By the way, before I pause the video again, if you have Sky Park, highly recommend you do these missions, not only for the visual excitement, you know, the flying through mountains is always exciting visually and, uh, uh, how do you say, flight, <laughs> flight dynamically, but also it gives huge XP. Like I, I just finished the UK part one tour in Sky Park. And the XP I got there is equal to the XP I got in a single mission like this. So the UK Tour Part 1 is like 27 legs. This one is like 2 legs and the, the XP is the same. <laughs> so <laughs> yeah, it really gives a lot of bang for the buck in terms of XP and I think even the money rewards. So highly recommend you do it. It's an amazing trip, guys, as you probably have seen already. Anyway, so I think the rest of the way here is going to be plain. So I'm going to bring you guys back when it's time to land. Time to embarrass myself. <laughs> but we have to finish the journey. We have to complete this. Yeah, I think I'll just take you until that uh, airport here in the plains because the next leg is just going back the mountains. And I'm not sure if I can do that today based on the weather. So I think we'll just do it halfway for now and I'll take care of finishing it. Okay? Anyway. Catch you guys in a bit. Ah, there it is. Almost there, guys. See the airport right in front of us? I think that's the one. I hope I got it right. It should be right by the river. And next to those, like, big buildings, like malls. It should be a fairly small airport. Uh, yes, that's the runway. And then there's a grass runway also right beside it perfect okay cool <clears throat> so let's get set up here let's overfly the airport and then let's turn around the winds are favoring runway 01 anyway so we'll join the left downwind and see how it works from there let's overfly it first though for a bit of sightseeing I was tempted to go to Lyon because apparently Lyon is just a few miles to the north. There are a couple of uh, 
in sim landmarks in there from world update 4 but maybe we can check that some other time because i think it will take too long and i wanted to focus on the french alps in this episode okay anyway so that's good you can see the marker turning we've gone beyond the airport that's okay let's start descending here and let's make our turn downwind leg Turn on our taxi and landing lights. I hope I can find the airport again. Should be easy to spot once we get lower. And it should be parallel this road that I'm seeing on my left if I remember correctly. Alright, let's make our turn. Just like a plane. Hope you guys enjoyed the French Alps tour. I'll take care of. I'll probably have to reschedule the next leg of this. I'll do that on my own because yeah, the cloud layers have really gotten much lower, and I don't think I it will be safe to try and get back there today. All right, here we are. There's the runway right in front of us. Perfect. Just easy. Settling down bit by bit, lowering the collective, balancing our speed and altitude. If you guys have tips for me on this, please let me know. Because I'm just mainly doing this by trial and error, but I don't really know the the like if there's like an approach speed in helicopters like this when you are trying to land on a runway or at least follow the runway. But for us, we'll do it this way continue our descent and at the end of this runway there should be a taxiway leading to the right where we can park if i remember correctly so we'll, we'll try and find that out for ourselves looking good slowing down getting lower it's okay it's good all right and as we lose power here bringing up the collective again we'll enter into some like hover mode you can see the green indicator as well in front on the PFD that will help me a bit to know where the chopper is heading there it is so there's the yeah I'm very much in need of fuel so maybe we'll stop nearby um, maybe try to get this moving the right direction there we go. Turn off our landing lights. Okay, not really many parking spots available, but we'll just try to land here right next to the fuel station. And maybe let's face the wind, so let's face that way move this way so it's a bit more stable and try to get as close as possible without actually hitting it that looks good come on a bit more stable and okay there we go settle it down there we go good all right didn't ask me to refuel though might be still a bit far I'll take it. I'll take it. Right. Pick up TV projectors and monitors. Okay. So once we load that up, let's make sure we open the doors first for proper role playing. There it is. Let's load them up. And next, we are headed back where we came from. Right? Yeah, that's the same one. Which is weird, but fine. Okay. So I'll take care of that some other day, but first we'll refuel, so let's go to idle here. Turn off taxi lights. Alright, I'll take care of it from here, guys. Thanks for joining me on this trip. Hope you guys enjoyed. Looking forward to the next one. In the meantime, clumsy flying and uh, have a nice weekend. Catch you guys soon. Thanks and bye-bye.